Hello and welcome to the ultimate battle for the title of the most hated GTA clickbait YouTuber. I'm your host, Darkspace, and I'm on a quest to find out who the king of clickbait is. Is it me? Is it you? Is it him? Well, we're gonna find that out. Let me tell you something that you probably already know. Clickbait sucks. It's the bane of YouTube's existence. And it's especially annoying when it comes to GTA YouTubers. They promise you the world, but all they deliver is disappointment. We need to recognize the dark side of YouTube and acknowledge the harm it can cause. The hours of wasted watch minutes serving no one else but the madmen who profit from your free time. But today, we're making the best out of a bad situation. We're going to pit these clickbait kings against each other to see who comes out on top. By rating these geniuses on their content and clickbait, we'll develop a power scorecard based on each of their abilities. But the numbers don't decide everything. No, each clickbaiter has a special secret ability that only they can use. By the end of this video, we'll know once and for all who the king of GTA clickbait is. But before round one begins, we have a brief message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the ultimate vehicle combat game. War Thunder boasts an impressive selection of over 2,000 vehicles, from tanks and planes to helicopters and ships. It offers an unparalleled gaming experience. No matter your preference, War Thunder caters to all playstyles with its wide range of PvP modes. The attention to detail in every vehicle is exceptional, with each component carefully crafted to enhance realism. With an in-depth customization system, you can tailor each vehicle to your your liking. The graphics are equally impressive, with stunning 4K visuals and immersive locations that transport you right into the action. Whether you're a fan of fast-paced, action-packed battles or more tactile gameplay, War Thunder has something for everyone. Don't miss out on the chance to play War Thunder, available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and the previous console generations. Plus, as a special offer, register now using the link in the description and receive a huge bonus pack, including premium vehicles and account boosters. First up for the chance to win the title of Clickbait King is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Boss for the win. Mr. Boss for the win, also known as Ross, has impressive stats with 15 damage and a respectable 27 defense. So let's see where these stats come from. A quick glance at his channel and you know you're in for a treat. We've got strong use of the GTA 6 thumbnail, very solid. Let's take a look at one of these videos and see what actual content lies in the information. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today- The first two minutes and 20 seconds can be summed up in a sentence. A subreddit was banned for posting GTA 6 leaks. The second portion of the video can be summed up as E3 was cancelled, so Rockstar will not be announcing GTA 6 at that event. The third portion of the video just says a song came out that was named GTA 6. Looking at all of these videos, you pretty much get the same package, just rewrapped. Ross likes to speak as slow as humanly possible, in order to reach a video duration that allows for more ads. That, or he's nearly putting himself to sleep. A Mr. Boss video will almost always contain old news repeated over and over again, with outlandish titles and thumbnails that do not represent the actual content in the video. For example, all of these videos with these titles, thumbnails, and durations can be summed up with the text that I've overlaid. You'll notice a strong pattern here, as Mr. Boss likes to stalk a well-known insider for Rockstar, Tez2, on all of his social media accounts as he turns each one of his posts into full-length videos. Hey, are you? Good, good. Just see right that stool, please. Sure. Mr. Boss for the Wind's ability to make something out of nothing is unparalleled. It's truly amazing unironically, which of course makes him a strong contender for GTA Clickbait King. Up against Mr. Boss for the win is Lispy Jimmy, an old favorite. Lispy Jimmy is a seasoned vet, with over 2,500 videos under his belt, half of which he promised he'd delete. Jimmy pioneered with trends like playing GTA at 3 a.m., quitting YouTube repeatedly, and the unbeatable GTA alert notification thumbnail. Every time I get a hate comment, I know that I'm doing better. I know that I'm getting somewhere. Dude, you take too long to finish your videos. You're just such a waste of my time. Dude, I, I honestly don't like you. The one thing I do want to apologize for though is I do long videos. I, I sometimes ramble in my videos, and that's because I have a problem. Due to Lispy Jimmy having moved away from GTA, his scorecard has been penalized. Minus 4 points to each category. It's hard to be a GTA clickbait king when you dabble in so much alternative clickbait. We're looking for the real deal here. Round 1. 
Fight. All right, the cards are down and the match has begun. Lispy Jimmy begins the tournament with a deadly crybaby crush attack. Mr. Boss isn't having any of that. Oh no, it looks like Jimmy has thrown his own girlfriend at Mr. Boss, dealing an additional six damage. Gearing up for his response, Mr. Boss looks to be doing a clickbait kick. Oh, Mr. Boss, here. oh and a one hit KO. And just like that, Mr. Boss has proven to be leagues ahead of his competition. Looks like it's time for Jimmy to say goodbye. It was terrifying. It was scary. It was, um... I am picking 10 people to hook up with $100 each. That is $1,000. All you literally need to do is just comment I liked. So literally just drop a like on this video right now and comment I liked. That's it. All right, for round two, we've got Cernando versus 22. Cernando may potentially be the most famous GTA clickbaiter. He had world-renowned success with his GTA 6 unboxing series. About six years ago, he received an early copy of GTA 6 from Amazon and shared his unboxing experience. So here we see a package that says, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, Grand Theft Auto 6, Grand Theft Auto 6, GTA 6, da, 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 da. Look at this, Grand Theft Auto 6 spammed everywhere. Holy crap, man. So Anthony, you sent me a very unusual box, man. <laughs> okay, so this is quite interesting, actually. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, and, oh, okay, okay, guys. Okay, okay, all right, okay, guys. Okay. While he earns major points for his ability to innovate and exploit the GTA YouTube audience, he does earn himself a few penalties for moving on to other victims, mostly the Fortnite audience. These days, he's more focused on doing it and holding as many photoshopped controllers as he can get his hands on. 22 sticks mostly to concept trailers in which he doesn't disclose the fact that it's a concept anywhere in the title or thumbnail, which is great for generating clicks and even better for competing in this contest. Round two, fight. Once again, the cards are down and the fight is beginning. Cernando uses Control Freak and deals 13 damage to 22, nearly a one hit KO. 22 uses the Roman numeral Nuggie for 9 damage. Cernando, sitting at 17 HP, is looking to end this fight. Using Hooded Hit, he ends it. Cernando is moving up in the competition, while 22 is heading out. Round 3 brings us to Not.4 Live and Mad Carl. Not may be one of the most annoying entries in this competition, but you have to give credit where credit is due. Oh man, my head really hurts. Wait, I'm in jail. Hey, what's going on? I'm going to die in here. No, you can't say that. Oh my days, my sister's in here. The repetitive nature of his thumbnails allow Not the ability to rinse and repeat without having to reach down into any cavern of creativity or passion. I need likes. You guys see that too? Is this really how it works? Um, well, guys, can you press like on this video? I want to see what happens when you do. Quick, guys, like. I'm trying to buy his time. I don't know how much time we got. Oh, God. Come on, I'm getting hungry too! I'll keep liking it, it's not going away! This is really making me feel a bit tense. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, stop moving. Stay like this, mister. Thank you so much for liking the video. His skill set to promise impossibilities in every thumbnail, yet to still be able to garner an audience, is almost as shocking as 55% of his thumbnails. Not's ability to offer a title and thumbnail that doesn't even remotely represent the video content earns him high scored card stats. Mad Carl has a solid catalog of thumbnails and titles showcasing impossible GTA scenarios. Most of his content masquerades mods as vanilla GTA 5 content. Round three, fight. The cards are down and the battle has begun. Mad Carl starts off with his signature, here we go again, dealing 10 damage to Nod. Carl seems to be using his special ability as well here, dealing an additional 5 damage with his downloaded Mega Bite. 
not recovering, uses the bait and switch, dealing 13 damage to Carl. Carl, resorting to his secondary, deals 5 damage. Knot's HP is low at 14, but not as low as Carl, who's sitting at 10. Knot strikes back with the epileptic trigger attack and his special move, the caffeinated karate chop, ending Carl and this round. Knot moves on to the semifinals where he will take on Cernando. Whoever wins this match will move on to the finals where he will battle Mr. Boss for the title of GTA Clickbait King. Round 4. Fight! Cernando starts with a control freak attack, dealing 13 damage to Knot's HP and Ego. Knot did not like that, as he returns a matching 13 damage bait and switch attack. Things are not looking good for Cernando here, much like his audience when they tune into his videos. With 13 HP, Cernando uses Hooded Hit. Knot returns the love with his epileptic trigger dealing major damage. Cernando using Hooded Hit for 7 damage again brings Knot down to 7 HP. These guys' attacks are much like their content, very repetitive. Cernando may have lost this battle. Oh, but wait, Nod seems to be surprised by something. It looks like Cernando is using his special ability. Cernando uses Early Access Smackfest, a crippling move, dealing 9 damage to an already weakened Nod. And just like that, Nod is out of this game. Cernando is moving on to the final round, the round that will decide who the king of GTA clickbait is. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? The final round is about to begin and we're about to find out. Mr. Boss for the win versus Cernando. Round 5. Fight! Cernando leads in with a charge with 13 damage to Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss responds with his clickbait kick and adds his special ability to the mix, Endless Annunciation. Cernando, using Hooded Hit, deals 7 damage to Mr. Boss. Boss retaliates with GTA 6.jpg, leaving Cernando on death's door. Cernando pulls out additional GTA 6 copies and uses Early Access Smackfest for 9 damage. Mr. Boss seems to have survived this ambush with 6 HP to spare. And with his turn, he fights GTA 6 Fire with GTA 6 Fire with GTA Dix.jpg yet again, dealing a heavy KO to Cernando, marking Mr. Boss as the official GTA clickbait king. As a badge of honor, it's almost poetic actually that the main character of GTA 5 called out Mr. Boss for the win for being clickbait. Boss man, the world, whatever his name is, they have no inside information, they're just clickbait. It doesn't really get any more official than that. Don't forget, you can play War Thunder on your platform of choice and register using the link in my description to get those free bonuses. You don't want to miss out on the intense vehicle action that only War Thunder can offer. Please don't go and say anything negative to the contestants of this tournament. At the most, you can congratulate them on how well they did during the contest. Thank you for watching.